Let's head into the choir division and take a look around. Now be careful coming up this ladder. It's a little unstable. It's a little bit rickety there, isn't it? I'll steady the top. There we go. All right. Well, here we are in the choir, and right away you can see some some good and some uh, some not so good. We've got a wonderful uh, wall here, a brick, and another wall of brick. It's going to reflect sound nicely. And then we've got some softer surfaces that aren't going to do so well. Those need to be addressed. The ceiling looks like it might be all right. I'd like to see that front wall dealt with a little bit differently. We've got some leakage for sound out into the world. We've got a pretty nice set of um, Haskell Violone pipes. Looks like uh, we'll have to do a little pipe repair here and there, but all in all in good shape. And then we've got the SD chests we talked about, which need replacing here. But we've got um, a nicely re-leathered reservoir. We've got some pipe work. All looks good. This is a, looks to be a molar crumb horn. Not absolutely certain of that. Take a look here real quick. Hmm. Well, I feel confident that it's molar, but let me just take a look at the shallot. Perhaps not. Well, now I'm being called into question on this. So, beautifully built from horn. like to get some more sound out of it. And then beyond that, we have the original Esty Celeste. Looks like it might have been a Gems horn or a Spitz flute. And it's labeled Spitz Flute on the pipes. Then we have um, probably some, I would say, Holland. Yep, so we've got pipes from Holland on the two and two thirds. The SD stopped diapason. And we got the bottom of the stopped flute. We've got chimes to watch out for. Don't bump your head. We've got a roar flute that is pretty certainly going to be molar. And we've got a two foot that is a block flute that is also almost certainly molar. And we've got uh, the viola which is just an extension if this continues on up as the, the SD viola. And we got some extension pipes sitting up on a little uh, cute extension note chest. Um, but we're going to replace all of that SD chest work anyway. And so all of this will get uh, a, a chest underneath it, which will be much more substantial. We've got a nice set of chimes that Came along somewhere along the line. Looks like they're maybe Mayland. Um, and a harp, a molar harp. Um, I wonder what, uh, I just bumped the camera. I wonder if that's problematic or not. But um, we've got a lovely molar harp here. And I would say that's another one of the 
relay problems. It's a separate relay for the harp and a separate relay for the viola and a separate relay for the main chest and, and then the Peterson relay running quite a bit of the organ. And we got some stuff. This is running the chime action, so we've got extra power for getting that out correctly. We've got shades for the choir division that look like perhaps we could get a little more organ out if we were to take care of getting these shades to really get that wall out of the way instead of, I believe that's fully open and yet I'm not convinced that, that, uh, that we're getting all that much sound out of this chamber. Sounds good. All right. Do we want to proceed on? We can proceed on. 